Hi guys, welcome to the Lares Studios. We're going to continue from where we stopped, still on our user authentication, where we were able to use the Slim PHP framework to set up our REST APIs. And now we're extending further to create a to do tax. We've been able to create an interface to actually uh, get the user, the registered user, to create a to do tax. Now we're going to fetch those tax created. Uh, in a list view or in a recycler view and uh, we'll be using uh, the the API link uh, which I'll show you right now uh, right there on uh, sublime text uh, we have the DB operations uh, we have the DB connect uh, we'll be looking at the index of PHP if you could see clearly we started with the create user after we move to the user login uh, we have the create stacks to create the to-do tax where you pass in the title, the username, tax date, time, and the, the tax description. And now we have uh, the fetch all tax by the username because we're going to actually have uh, a database or a, two tables, the users and the tax table. Uh, and the tax table is actually going to comprise all tax created by users. That, that that are act, that are using the application. So for you to you know, to sort out a specific uh, user tax, you need to actually point uh, the link this way. The localhost, which could be uh, your domain if you are uh, uploading to a cloud server, users, the version one, that's the version of your API, tax, all tax. You're trying to fetch all tax which is predominant to a particular user so that's very important it's going to be a part uh params uh, which you're going to add up when you're calling this api after the endpoint you pass that part params in retrofit to actually get you this so let's walk through how we actually created this you have the tax the username as the uh the pointer instantiate the db operation we have a a function which is right there in the DB operations called get tax. This is actually going to run the query, and after that, you fetch the result and you loop through the results to extract the values needed the ID, the title, username, tax date, time, and tax description itself. And you push that as an array, uh, form an array of tax uh, right there, and you equate a response of 200 that's a successful. Let's get to look at the DB operation that get this done. In the DB operation, we have the uh, the, the get tax. Uh, this takes a username as a parameter, and if you should look at the query, select all from tax where the username is a question mark. That is the uh, needed variable where the username is a dege, where the username is John. So depends on what you're passing in, and you bind the params. That's just the value you need to bind. You execute the SQL and uh, return the tax or uh, the tax which is like a cursor, the list of tax. So with that, you get to use it and we'll, you loop through it, extract the values needed, append that to a JSON, a JSON encoded, and you pass that to the user. That's going to be the API, that's what we'll be seeing. So a quick look at the structure, look at it right there. So you have the error of false, since it's, 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 we have no error whatsoever. The tax array, uh, the first tax over here, learning Android, the second one, recording so it's continued to list as you see it right there so we have a full working api now let's get to consume that in android it's quite easy we're just going to follow the same steps that we did uh well first of all look at the networking the routes first what what are we pointing are we pointing at fetch tax over here fetch the tax pointing at this string tax where did we get this from we got it from uh, the point I saw the index of PHP uh, over here tax, which is also here tax. You need to actually point that correctly. And uh, back to Android Studio, we're going to have the service itself, the user service, and uh, this is going to actually have the full structure of what we are looking at. Now we're getting uh, the fetch tax, which is the endpoint, uh, concatenates with the way. Uh, with the path params, uh, you know, it's a Y card, so it, we need a value passed into here called the username. So after that, you have the call and uh, this the calling uh, response called tax pojo. You'd have mapped up your pojo 
the plain object Java, uh, you should have mapped it up to what you're expecting from the JSON because we are trying to pass JSON into an object. Now you have the fetch tax and the path, which is the username expecting the string username. Cool. And then that's straightforward. Let's add further to where we're going to actually get this consumed. We're going to do this right there in the dashboard activity. The dashboard activity houses the recycle view, the activity dashboard. The activity dashboard, uh, let's look at that. And uh, it's in the layout activity dashboard with the tax items. We'll look at the activity dashboard firstly. So this is just a relative layout with the recycle view right inside it. I think we've talked about this earlier when we are creating the tax and the floating action button to trigger uh, the, the class or the activity to create those tags. Now that's cool. Let's get to look at the items attached to uh, the uh, to the dashboard or to yes to the list to the recycle view. We have a text view and an image view. This is where we're actually going to use the first alphabet of the tax title to, to pick the uh, the drawable over there. And we have the tax title, at the tax date and time, uh, which we're going to be getting right there from uh, the API. So let's add further uh, to get this finished up. Extends app compact, initialize the views needed. We need the username. After a successful login, we've saved the username to the shared preference. So we can easily call it back here, preference utils, get the username, pass the context, which is this, and uh, save that as a global variable so it could be used throughout the methods in the class. And uh, you, we have the loading screen. Uh, the recycler view initialize that call the layout manager where are we trying to display your uh, recycler view is a grid is a linear we have linear right there and we have the FAB we've, we've actually discussed earlier on the focal point here is the fetch tax when we're fetching all the stacks uh, you call the data service generator passing the, the class itself the context and the base URL at this point in time you call the calling a uh, generic pojo and uh, points back to the user service object to fetch the tax that's the method to fetch the tax which needs a username as a parameter uh, you instantiate the call in queue and uh, where you get your callback where you override the on response and on failure on response you test if the response is successful very very recommended you test if the response body is not equal to null. At this point in time, you extract the get tax over here and you pass that to a list generic of tax, which is a tax list. At this point in time, you could set that list to the recycler view by calling the recycler view set adapter, instantiate the tax adapter, pass the context and the list of the tax which you extracted from the body. You pass that, from there, you could. You, you will need a tax adapter to bind those views to extract to iterate through and extract the object uh, of value so that's going to be the next thing so that is quite straightforward we get straight to the adapter in the adapter we have the tax adapter to get that for us here we're going to be calling the color generator and the text drawable we actually got this from um, from a library uh, which is We'll quickly look at the library over here. Uh, it's called the Emul Care Text Drawable. This is a library which you could actually uh, depict just like the way you have Gmail, you know, the first alphabet of your mail or the first alphabet of the title. We we'll depict that with uh, the caps and uh, you make that right there in a sphere and uh, you could colorize it and make it beautiful. So that's just basically what that's going to do. So add a straightforward. forward. This is just like the way we have all recycler view, the create view order and the bind view order. And the bind view order is where you get to extract uh, the values and bind that to the view. Uh, the view is actually created in the view order right there, where you have the text views for title and date and the image with the thumbnails. In the view order constructor, you get to instantiate those views as you could see here so if you need to set listeners click listeners to the view you get to do it there we'll extend more on that probably when we need to update 
uh, the record or when we need to delete the record. Uh, so we still have some other little, little things to do right there. And we're still going to cover uh, the login persistency uh, when you log in and it gets persistent. You, you get what I'm trying to say. You don't have to log in over and over again. So we'll get that done. So without much ado, I've been able to cover that. We've been able to fetch the right stacks into the dashboard activity and bind that to the tax adapter. Let's get to look at the view right there in the emulator. In the emulator right there, I have it somewhere. Uh, the tax, I think I've launched it earlier. And uh, we'll get to look at how that user authentication over here. And uh, let me log in. Uh, Adege is the user. Adege with a password. Adege. And logged in. Cool. Can you see that? We have the learning Android. The date 12 7 2018, 12 17 p.m recording with the date and the time all specifically looking so good with the drive over here you can see the first alphabet l round spare with the blue and the other one r with the red so we have that so you could create and at the same time you could fetch all so i think that is quite okay at this point in time so we'll be extending more by updating this record deleting this record sorting this record persistent login so that we're going to have a robust and uh let's say comfortable and usable uh tax to the tax application on android so thank you very much for that with me throughout uh, the session and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time don't go anywhere just subscribe to the button subscribe and uh we'll have a lot to talk about uh when it comes to finish this up thank you god bless